Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, this uh, three by three magic uh, square such that uh, this table has uh, three rows and uh, three columns. And the value of this uh, cell is one. The value of this uh, cell is 19. And the value of this uh, cell is uh, 96. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go over the magic uh, square. And in a magic uh, square, the sum of uh, row values uh, equal to the sum of column values equal to sum of uh, diagonal uh, values. In other words, uh, the sum of the values in this uh, row must be equal to the sum of the values in this uh, column and likewise must be equal to this uh, diagonal uh, as well. And now I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step way to solve this given uh, puzzle. And now we can see that this uh, row and uh, this uh, column has uh, more values. So therefore we are going to consider this row and uh, this uh, column. Now let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, cell as a lowercase a and this cell lowercase b and now we are going to find the value of a and b before we can find the value of x and since we are dealing with this magic square so therefore the sum of these values must be equal to the sum of these values in this row so therefore i can write b plus 1 plus a must be equal to a plus 19 plus 96 and here we can see a and a cancels each other out so therefore we are ended up with the b plus 1 on the left hand side and if we add these two numbers that is going to give us 115 Let's go ahead and subtract one from both sides. This is gone. So our B value turns out to be 114. So therefore this B value turns out to be 114. And here's our next step. Let me label this cell as Y and this cell value as Z. And since once again we are dealing with this uh, magic uh, square, so the sum of these uh, diagonal uh, values uh, must be equal to these uh, values uh, in this uh, row. So therefore I can write uh, A plus uh, Y plus Z must be equal to A plus uh, 19 plus uh, 96. And now we can see that this A and A is uh, gone. So therefore we are ended up with the Y plus uh, Z equals to 115. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And now let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, cell as uh, lowercase t. And now I'm going to equate uh, this uh, row and uh, this uh, column so therefore i can write uh, 1 plus uh, y plus uh, t must be equal to z plus uh, t plus uh, 96 and here we can see t and t cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with the uh, 1 plus y equal to z plus uh, 96 let me go ahead and move this uh, z to the left hand side and at the same time i'm going to move this uh, one to the right hand side so therefore we are ended up with the uh, y minus uh, z equal to 96 uh, minus 1 and in other words y minus z is equal to 95 let me call this our equation uh, number uh, two. And now we can see we got a system of uh, two equations with uh, two variables y and uh, z. And now we are going to find the y and uh, z values. 
And here's our next step. Let's add uh, these two equations. When we add them, uh, this uh, positive z and negative z, they are gone. So therefore, we are ended up with the uh, 2y equals to 210. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore, uh, our y value turns out to be 105. So that's how this uh, y value turns out to be 105. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and substitute the y by this uh, value 105 uh, over here. So therefore, this is going to become 105 plus uh, z equal to 115. Let's subtract uh, 105 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, our z value turns out to be 10. So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, z value by simply 10. And here's our final step. Now we can easily find the value of uh, x. We know that this uh, diagonal has all its uh, values. So therefore, I am going to equate uh, this uh, row with this uh, diagonal with all the values. So let me go ahead and copy down 114 plus uh, x plus 10 must be equal to the diagonal values 114 plus uh, 105 plus uh, 96. And now we can see 114 and 114, uh, they cancel each other out. So therefore, we ended up with the uh, x plus uh, 10 value equals to 201. And now let me go ahead and subtract uh, 10 from uh, both uh, sides. And we can see this is uh, gone. So therefore, our x value turns out to be 100 and uh, 91. So that's how this uh, x value turns out to be 191. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, uh, our x value turns out to be 191. And here's your assignment. Uh, can you find out the value of this uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase uh, t on uh, your own? Please leave your answers in the comment box. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.